In 2011, I spoke with Larry Seekinen about the devastating September flooding in the Susquehanna River Basin. Today, he's back to provide an update on how the conference disaster response teams were able to assist in the recovery efforts and also to tell us where more help is still needed. Thank you for coming, Larry. The last time we spoke, you said that you were in the process of applying for more UMCOR grants. Were you able to obtain more money from them? And if so, how was that used? Well, we were able to get a $100,000 grant from UMCOR in December. That's great. And uh, it's being used, 85% of it needs to be used for uh, materials to replace in houses. 15% of it can be used for personnel. Uh, so we're using that to buy materials to fix up houses uh, throughout the areas where we're working. But we also have the option to go back to UMCOR this year and ask for another $100,000. Of course, we have to report on what we did with the first 100000 mm -hmm. So we're keeping track of how much we put into each house and all the work that's being done. The last time that you were here, you told us that you estimated that the recovery effort would take about four years. So now we're a year and a half into that. Um, what's an update on that? Well, we're looking right now um, in the northeastern part of the state, up in the Luzerne, Lackawanna, Wyoming, and Susquehanna counties, that things will start to wrap up in June because we've had a lot of help. Okay, great. If everything works out. Also, in the northern part of Bradford County, it looks like we can wrap up probably in June. But we continue to get more houses that people are coming to us who haven't had anything done in a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So that means there's actually more work that needs to be done. And also, uh, experience tells us that those people who did their own work and put rebuilt their house too quickly before it was allowed to dry out, will now start to get mold in the spring and they won't have any money to go back in and, and replace all of that stuff that'll have to be taken out. So that'll be even more people. I'm estimating probably five to 10% of the people we helped, we may or we didn't help that needed help, we may have to go back in and work on again. So we could end up with a number of houses that would then extend it into another year. It's great, though, that you got a lot of help and um, that you're a little bit ahead of the ball game. it sounds like. Yes, we were able to get, in the first year, the, the estimates that we had were about 3,500 people volunteered and over 53,000 volunteer hours. Wow. So that is a, a gift to the people of $1.16 million in volunteer labor that we were able to give to people. So we did get a lot of help. Is there an area specifically that really still needs a lot more help? Um, Southern Bradford County has not been touched. Susquehanna County, or, uh, Sullivan County, we haven't really been into yet. Uh, we're just starting to get into them. And in uh, Southern Bradford County, there were a thousand homes that were affected by the flooding and we haven't even talked to those people yet. Northumberland County, um, we're working with them very closely, and we have over 100 houses on the help list. So those are our big areas right now, Sullivan County, Southern Bradford County, and Northumberland County. So if people are looking for a pretty local mission trip and maybe some of those counties that you mentioned, um, how would they get in contact with someone to find out how they could become involved? They can contact me through my conference email or through my cell phone okay. and then I can get them the information to sign up. Uh, they can figure out how many people. What I tell people the easiest thing to do is decide on a couple of dates that will work for you before you contact me and then we can make sure one of those dates fits and then we can get everything set up. Okay. So I thank you for giving an update and um, if you are looking for a pretty local mission trip and would like to get involved with flood recovery, uh, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog at Susquehanna 
express.blogspot.com.